bear with me, guys. Wait, hold up. Okay, cool. Yay! Yes. Oh, oh. That's going so well. <laughs> yeah, there may be homophobia in the internet connection. Yes, okay, yes. I'm in. I'm in, I'm in. I like, I was like trying to do the beer filter and all of a sudden like the whole thing left and I was like, no, I don't want to leave. You know, it's the aesthetic. I need the aesthetic. <laughs> it's my Instagram aesthetic, so. <laughs> you know, I, I knew because the last couple of lives, people have been like a little bit late or the other things. They didn't know how to use it. I said, Biggles going to know how to do this. And they'll be oh, no. right there. Right there. I was I'm like, not... I know how to use it and I can get a filter in there as well. But I was like, no way. I tried to put the filter and Instagram was like, no. But it's so good to see you, Vico. Yeah, me too. You too. Guys who have never met Vico in real life, Vico is like really good at everything. <laughs> uh, really, really annoying. <laughs> what? You're one of those people um, which I admire and also want to strangle at the same time You're because like, strangle you with admiration be, and love you want to be stabbed <laughs> by jim is that what you want <laughs> well i've always well i mean who better and she was like you can have that one for free and she and you were like wow. hey, girl you do not know the value of this shirt that i you know <laughs> gay pirates so if the revenge had a karaoke night i would definitely sing um tu pirata soy soy yo from cheyenne literally the 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 song it's called your pirate is me. And it's like, your one of the, uh, your dearest, uh, how do you translate this? Eh, tu querido ladrón de amor. Your, your, that's not a shoplifter. Now we're playing charades. Um, when, <laughs> because the cerebro, you know, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm figuring it out. It's just about being a pirate and how like, you know, I steal your heart and like, I'm gonna put your name in the anchor and like, oh. all the things. We John would definitely say Disco Inferno. Because, <laughs> so. so here's the thing. My go-to karaoke song, if I was not in the revenge, because I love a theme. <laughs> I love a theme. The No Me Ames duet by Mark Anthony and J-Lo. Like, super low, like, No Me Ames. And then I'm like, No Me Ames. Like, I love to do both. You know what? I love how much they are obsessed with weapons and because <laughs> so am I and I'm um, here for it like knives and swords and like sharp things I'm into it so when uh, Nat Faxon who plays the Swede oh. um he always he was always the one that would break me but but in the very beginning because I had the beard and the hat <laughs> I would always I would always like if some something funny happened I would always just like look down start looking down disappointedly. And then like, once I knew my face was covered, I would just like giggle a little bit and then just like look up again, like nothing had happened. <laughs> but but uh, towards the end, once the beer was gone and I was a bit more um, uh, showing face to the crew, um, there was a scene where like Matt, uh, the Swede runs to Jim and is like, the teeth don't go back in. And in one of the takes, and I was doing really, I was doing so well. I was doing so well. Okay. And in one of the takes, he he runs to me and he like really desperately like is like, but teeth don't go back in. And then like oh, his, yeah. his, one of his like green screen, like <laughs> teeth falls off and he drools. And I'm just like, yeah. I Too lost much. it. I lost it. My boat, my ship. I would call it um, El Pitirre. One of my favorite birds in uh, in Puerto Rico. This little cutie patootie um, who's like sassy and intense as fuck. And like literally, and like the reason why it's called Pitirre is because it kind of sounds like that. So when they like sing, it's like Pitirre, Pitirre. Small but mighty. Oh, and mighty. The opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm like this little, this little noodly like, it's like, oh, that, that guy can't like, you know, throw a punch, but I can. I would call mine the golden fist. The I'm golden, sure. the golden fist. That sounds like this, is, this can go in many directions. <laughs> yeah, well, it sounds like an after, you know what, I'm not going to make any motions. Uh, no, please camera. don't. Because I'm already there. I think it's great. I think it's a great name. And I would, I would, um, <laughs> I'm getting red. Yeah. One time I was told forever ago, like, that's too much eyebrow acting. Can you maybe pull it back? And I was like, this is all I do. I just, I act with my eyebrows. Like, what am I supposed to do now? Um, I'm writing the book. Um, You're I'm writing a book? 
that will hopefully be out later in the year. It's an autobiography, and I have a movie out at the end of this month. It's called Unwelcome. Um, the Uninvited. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. And, or is it The Unwelcome? Anyway, it's on something. If you could steal or one outfit from the show, yours or another character, whose would you steal? I would steal Izzy's outfit. I already have tried like cosplaying as Izzy because I'm clearly yeah. obsessed. So yeah, I'm like yeah, done and done. I love Spanish Jackie's red coat. Oh, yeah. it's a it's a an excellent opportunity to show how um, transness and and gender fluidness and and non binariness has always mm -hmm. been part of um, our human experience. Um, right. Oftentimes I feel that we forget, I mean, there's so much content now that's really modern, which is fantastic. Um, and a lot of like non-binary representation that's coming through in these modern shows. Um, but then uh, we forget that it's not something that's been, it's new, that's like now, like mm -hmm. young kids are doing it, right? You know, anyone um, from any experience um, and uh, age and uh, background um, can be non-binary. And, and we've had um, history that, yeah. um, that, that, pr that proves that, right? And it's really cool to have a show like Our Flag that, um, that portrays that in, in, in a really great way. There's like a gif or something where I'm just like, kind of being kind of like cat-like and I'm just like, like just pushing a, a glass out of a, out of a table. Jim is just like a cat and I'm like, oh yeah. So, like Perfect time, <laughs> as the crew members of The Revenge were a band, who would play what instrument? I think Lucius would be the lead singer. Nathan would certainly think he was going to be the lead singer. I, I, would... I am here. I'm here to push <laughs> Lucius as the lead singer. I mean, the Swede does sing in a part of the show. So yeah. the Swede would be the lead singer. And Lucius, Buttons, and Roach would do um, backup vocals. Yeah, I think uh, the guitar with like the pyrotechnics on the end of it, like Kiss. Like, you know, yes. Like... Yes, yes, yes. Ola Wande is percussion. I'm either, I think Jim would be either like bass or percussion as well. You know what, Bertie will do guitar and also like do backup vocals because yeah, that's how we can do both at the same time. Yeah. Lucius will be the guy, like the guy with the, with the little like, ding, 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 you know, like that kind of thing. I have no idea what that is. You don't what know? You I can't. It's a little... A tambourine? Is that a tambourine? Is that a, guys, help us. Everybody's like saying tambourine. I don't know, it's like pandereta. I'm like, I don't fucking I mean, know. Was, Everyone's like yelling, like it's tambourine. Like, <laughs> this is my brand, Assigned Knives at Birth. Assigned Knives at Birth. <laughs> makes sense. It makes, it makes a lot of it was sense. like born and people were like, here are some knives. And then it's like, cool, let's go. <laughs> You guys, you naughty, naughty bunch. He's wrong. Is Khan a good kisser? Well, here's a good one. I think we're the vote yeah. of love. We all, we all love each other and want to marry each other and fuck each other and kill each other. Um, yeah. <laughs> everyone just say Khan. I mean, everyone does want to make out with Khan. We just don't want to make out with anyone on the show. We're all so fucking cute. <laughs> Use you. A little pet, a little, a little, and then it's like, ah, look at us. 